I just wanted to do this video to provide a one year plus update with our experience with the 65 gallon version of the Rheem hot water hybrid hot water heater. Uh, we installed this in late September of 21 and we installed this in place of a 40 gallon gas water heater which was about eight years old and we we're having issues with it backdrafting because we had a very long run for the uh, for the chimney chute for it uh, so we decided it was time to get rid of it given the safety concerns with that the biggest difference in installing these is obviously the where the water enters these tanks the water does not go in the top of these tanks it actually goes in the sides with the cold water going in the bottom the hot water coming out towards the top and it does have a condensate drain like a condensing furnace would uh, because this is a heat pump it will uh, pull humidity out of the air and it has to have a place to go so I ran ours into the condensate line off of our furnace so it can go out to the uh, drain with the rest of the condensate so far this uh, water heater has been very efficient we've uh, enjoyed it in terms of as much as you can enjoy a water heater uh, but it has been very efficient um, Ream does have an app and it will show track and show you you know yearly monthly weekly daily your energy use this water heater year to date has used just over a thousand kilowatts and we'll probably end the year just under a thousand fifty kilowatts uh, based on our current usage and it will uh, it won't end up costing us a whole lot <laughs> compared to if I had just put a uh, regular resistant uh, electric water heater back in those a comparable size one will use anywhere between four and five thousand kilowatts and if you have regular uh, electric rates which nationally are around 15 cents a kilowatt uh, it can get quite expensive I'm lucky in that I have municipal power and it's about a nickel a kilowatt but I'm still saving money even compared to the gas water heater our in-laws have the the uh, 50 gallon version of this and they have regular uh, electric power they don't have the inexpensive municipal power like I have and they're saving on average about forty dollars a month having switched from a 50 gallon electric to a 50 gallon hybrid water heater uh, like this one the <clears throat> the other uh, piece with this um, in terms of savings is the utilities often have rebates on these. In my case, it was $750 from our electric company. The in-laws had a $700 one from their utility. Uh, additionally, the federal government uh, last year was providing a $300 federal tax credit on top of the other incentives, which um, I believe are going up with the Inflation Reduction Act. So I, I don't know exactly what those will be, but there may be even more incentives. Uh, I personally, if you track these and watch these, you'll see these go on sale at Home Depot. And I think that's typically the time to buy them. I bought this one on sale and had a uh, 10% off uh, coupon through Home Depot. And you can typically get these for in that $1,500 to $1,600 range uh, plus tax. And then if you install it yourself, you might have at most $100 of materials and that's if you're using like shark bite uh, connections on uh, when you go to make these waterline connections versus you know, using a crimp style but that's fielder's choice in that regard in terms of uh, the app itself the other nice feature that you can do with this is you can schedule the time of day into what mode it will be in I leave ours in heat pump only mode because we have never ran out of water. Uh, I had actually changed this before I told the family just to see if there was a noticeable difference and there wasn't. Uh, this has no problem keeping up with a family of four and it's uh, water hot water demands in the heat pump only mode which is the most efficient mode. In terms of noise it really is not noisy. I'm gonna I just turned it up one degree just to get it to kick on 
And you can hear the fan kicking on right now. And right there is about as loud as it is going to get. It is not something you're, you're going to hear unless you're in the same room with it. I can be in the other parts of my basement and I don't hear it. I can be upstairs. Unless it's like dead silent upstairs, I do not hear this. Uh, so I've been very happy with the sound that these make, which is very little. In terms of the cold air that it puts out, people are concerned, well, is it going to chill your basement? It does ever so slightly, but it's really not noticeable. I have, ours is obviously in the room with our furnace, which is already um, producing heat in the wintertime. So this room, even with this in here, doesn't really get that cold. And in the summertime, the benefit obviously is it keeps the basement a little cooler and a little dehumidified, which is which has been nice. But I wouldn't rely upon it for, you know, purposefully dehumidification purposes. If you do have humidity problems in a basement, you're still going to want to use a dehumidifier or other other means. But Overall, I mean, this has been a great water heater. It comes with a 10-year warranty. Uh, it's super efficient. I can touch any part of this tank. You don't feel any of it and any of the heat coming off of it. Uh, and I've been, been super happy with it. Uh, and I would uh, highly recommend uh, folks going with it. And if you are, your water heater's at that point or nearing that point, I definitely would put this in in place of any electric resistant heat because the power requirements are no different. You already have power going there. And honestly, within six months, you will recoup the cost of this water heater uh, over the cost of the electric resistance heat. I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, and I will talk to you soon.